Have you ever wondered how an app is made? How does it even work? Many think it's magic, and some even think it's evil. But all you have to learn is to code. That screen full of words and signs can be a little overwhelming at first, but once you break down these and dissect them little by little, you'll find out it is easier than it looks. It's like learning a new language, but instead of a person, you communicate with a computer. So writing code is writing a precise set of instructions a computer or device can understand. It's explaining exactly what you want the computer to do at any given moment. So let's say I have a button and I want to order a computer to do something after a button is pressed. Well, first I will have to explain to it where is the button and what action will it perform after the button is pressed. Also, I'd have to check for errors in case the button is not pressed, for example, and so on. And that is how I begin a command of instructions that is later compiled into ones and zeros, positive and negative poles. Okay, cool, but why do all people have to learn how to code? Isn't that just for coders? Well, no, coding is not just for coders. Just like math, it's not only for mathematicians. Studies have shown that coding makes you think. It can improve our memory and cognitive skills. And it, coding lets you solve genuine worldwide problems. The reason I wanted to learn how to code is because I couldn't find a mate for my little Pomeranian dog. <laughs> there she is. Her name is Tula. She is three years old, a blondie, and single, ready to mingle. She is looking for a hottie mate. But because of the pandemic, there was nowhere to find one. So why not make an app? This is how I developed Paw Crush, a pet matchmaker. Here, all sorts of pets can find their mate. You can specify the requirements you want, you know, if your pet's looking for something serious or just someone to have fun, maybe hang out in the park with. And you can just casually meet other pet owners as well along the way. And this is possible because I had the tools I needed to help me develop this app. But unfortunately, this is not the same case for everyone. You know, I had Wi-Fi, a technological device, and a good disposition to learn online. And with those tools, I was able to develop this app. But as I said, unfortunately, this is not the same case for everyone. In August of 2020, a UNICEF study said that at least a third of school-age children around the world did not have access to distance education during school closings due to COVID-19. Because of the lack of access to technology, they lost a full school year. I also noticed that many jobs are disappearing because they are being replaced by programmable computers and machines. Forbes magazine said that at least 73 million jobs could disappear by the year 2030. That is only nine years from now. On the other hand, thanks to technology, innovative technology, we have been able to survive this pandemic and especially nowadays where we use technology in almost every parts of our lives, like connecting with our loved ones and even ordering food. This is why it is so important to incentivize youth to learn how to code. Creativity is infinitive, but what is an idea if you don't have the means to bring it through? If only people had enough knowledge and the tools they needed, they would develop those amazing ideas we all have. This is why I built the Prende y Emprende Foundation. In English, this means turn on and launch because you're turning on your computer and launching that amazing idea you've had. Any of us here has had a good idea 
but maybe shrugged it off because you didn't have the means to bring it through? Well, that's what this foundation is for. What we do is teach children to learn how to code through fun video games in a way that is accessible to anyone and also they can help their community along the way and making learning fun. So I started with a small pilot plan of three kids. There we go. And this was an incredible success. These kids had their first ever encounter with programming. They were able to develop projects on their own, which translates into a personal satisfaction and a good self-esteem, and later into happiness and a positive mind by doing something bigger than themselves, developing a strong grit which is the tendency to sustain interest in an effort toward very long-term goals. And this is a quality that many successful people share. This pilot plan was an incredible success. As I was learning to code, I faced some challenges along the way, but I had the passion and perseverance to make it through. And now I have developed my first ever app, are you ready to make that first click to make a difference in your life, to make a difference in the world? Because remember, small efforts can cause a big impact. If we manage to make a new generation where everyone has the equal opportunities, where everyone has the real right of education, we as a society can advance to set up a new standard. By changing individually, we can change a whole system, creating new hope for a better quality of life where no one is left behind. Having the opportunity to change millions of lives. So whatever you're dreaming, just put it on code, dare to make that click.